Hey folks, I've got these buckets here, got them at Tractor Supply, and I use them in the garden to hold mulch, dirt, booking buckets, but I'm not using them for that anymore. I don't grow vegetables very well in buckets, so I'm going to repurpose them. So I'm going to preserve the ability to use these just as water buckets. I'm going to still have the ability to use them as a wicking bucket, but I also want to make crab slash crawfish uh, cleaning buckets out of them. So let's see how to do that. I've got a one and one eighth inch bit here. Just remember when you're drilling in this plastic, go slowly. Take your time. I get the bit. Right here is where you want to go slower so it doesn't get bind in the plastic. These buckets, not a quarter of an inch, but eighth of an inch quarter, it's a very sturdy bucket to hold a fixture on there. I purchased this bulkhead adapter on Amazon. You can find them other places. I'll put the size in the link below. But there are two kind of adapters. This first one I bought a few years ago. I bought several of them. It has an inside thread also, which fits the half inch PVC thread you'd use in irrigation or gardening. And the price of these have gone up. The first ones I bought. And then there's a cheaper version. They're a couple dollars, but they don't have an inside thread. It's just um, smooth inside and I'll show you why you may or may not need that basically when you want to try to plug it up. I've put a hole in one side and in the other side opposite each other. So I'm going to take this bulkhead adapter and I'm going to insert it into the hole and use a washer, a little rubber silicon type washer on the inside. So when you put these in, you can sit here and twist it. If you want to twist it, you just smack it in there. And then you can see inside here comes through with the rubber on, silicone, whatever it is. Twist this nut on. The reason I put it on the inside is it got it on there. It leaves a low profile on the outside, so you can still stack your buckets. Otherwise, you'd have this protruding out on the inside. So one thing you may want to do is plug this up and just use it as a water barrel. Like suppose you want to bob apples. You can fill it up, keep this food safe. You can get these little PVC plugs, half inch, and they'll screw here. You can plug it in and it plugs that hole up. Or, as I mentioned earlier, why you may or may not want threads on the inside, you can put the plug on the inside. Inside here. Okay, tighten that up in a minute. Again, that puts all the fixtures inside and leaves a low profile for stacking. Not a big deal, but if you don't care, if you don't mind putting the plug on the outside. You know, these are tapered, so they may not hit that much, but you can save a couple of dollars on that bulkhead adapter. So now you see i got both adapters on each side. One here, one here. Now what's next? Plug it up. I can put my fresh, put water in here, and then when I pick carrots or beets or whatever it comes out of the garden. Even lettuces, I can fill this with water and soak my vegetables, get them cleaned off a little bit before I bring them in the house and make a mess. So it's a good general purpose water bucket still. I have an 11 inch piece of PVC. And I'm going to glue on the cap. And let's see what that's going to be used for. Now I'm going to drill some holes. I have a 532nd bit. I want the holes to be fairly small. Okay. 
I've got a 90 degree half inch adapter. I'm going to twist it into here on the inside. And then you'll get a wrench and tighten this up later. So that will point upwards. And then this is going to go on the top here. You may put some Teflon tape, but you want to angle it so that the holes are coming in this direction. So when the water comes out, it makes the water, makes the, the water in the bucket spin. Next, I'm going to take an adapter and run one half inch. PVC to a hose thread. I have a female coupling here. The end of my garden hose is going to screw in here. So now I can bring water into the system. So you'll tighten that down. You may put Teflon tape on it if you want. Okay, so I have inbound water, and that's going to come up through here and shoot the water in this direction and make a little water vortex. But it may overflow. So, I want to be able to control the water inbound and outbound. So, I got another adapter that goes from PVC to male hose adapter. So, I'm going to put that on the outbound side and I can have it overflow over the top, which I will because I'll have the pressure coming in the tank. The bucket will be more than going out. So, I, usually when you're cleaning seafood, you want some to flow on the top, but definitely want some to come on the bottom. And then I, that could be it, that's all I need, but if I want to control how much comes out, then I'll put something like this or smaller. This converts just an open connection to one that has an on-off. Now it's off, now it's on. So there you go, there's your repurposed wicking bucket. It can still be used as part of a wicking bucket. You could use it for kids to put water balloons in when they get those little devices that you get like 50 balloons full of water and you can shoot them or have water balloon fights. You can put apples in there with water, whatever, clean your vegetables. And all the way up into a seafood cleaning system. Inbound water here comes in, sprays around. Outbound water here. Got a couple plugs I can put on the inside. I can take this off and then it'll still store. I can take this off and it'll store just fine. Got nice handles on it. Pretty robust. Yeah, repurposed. You may find these online, 50 to $90. And total parts on this, I think, were about $18, $19. Probably cheaper if you find them on sale. Here's the third one I've made. Got a couple different parts. I got a different connector here, and there's my same leaky hose. So there's lots of different adapters to go to hoses here. It's good to have an on off valve right near here. So I have it plugged on this side, I have the water sprayer here, and I have it sealed over here. That's redundant because nothing's going to come out over here. So let's turn it on. We want that force to be turned a little bit in this direction. So we'll come back after that fills up a little bit. Another thing, you can make several of these. If you only want one coming halfway up, it's only like 50 cents. You could stop, put a cap on it here, or put two twists on here and you can put the cap on. And just have your holes lower than having them up high. When you have lots of stuff in there, like lots of vegetables or 90 pounds of crawfish, you want them to come all the way to the top. You want circulation across the uh, depth of the barrel. So I actually turned the water on higher, make sure that was open. We've got a lot of force coming out. You can start seeing the spinning circular motion of the water. I don't think you'd leave that on if you were playing with the kids with apples, but good action. Probably came up too high with that hole. But you know, go into water in just a second and I'll stop spraying. 
There we go. There. Now, if you're cleaning off seafood, you turn this open. Oh, I gotta take that cap off in there. I got that cap out. I'm not lying, it's winter here. That water was cold. It's 30 something degrees out. Let's open this up. You can see it coming out. Turn this on just to get some circulation. And it takes a little time to get going. Let's turn it up. Picks those items up off the bottom. I changed this out and I made one with 116 inch holes. If I could have six holes, it's got a lot more pressure with a lot less water force. The streams are higher pressure. So you can already see the thing swirling just from bouncing off to the side. I've got to also have a variety of things. That's a shutoff valve for a drip irrigation in the raised bed gardens. Lots of different things you can use. At this speed, i got a good steady state. I have a, that nozzle flow, those holes, and that input. I'm going to try to reduce the input, make it even slower, reduce the output. So we don't have to waste so much water. Really cool. Still got good action going on in the bottom. Okay, this is how I made the original wicking buckets. Get one of these barrels. I have that side plugged off and have some white material coming through. The best material to use is a white t-shirt because it's thick but it'll wick a lot of water. And so you put this, you put some water in here and it'll go up this white cloth and in, into here and then when you're filling this up you just hold this up in here and put your dirt in here and the water will wick up into here. And then when you want to control the amount of water that you put in the bottom, you know, it can go up as much as you want, but you, it'll naturally want to come out this hole, but you can use a riser to have it fill up this much. That's kind of way too much. Your plants will probably rot. But you can just turn something, and then if it rains and everything, whenever the water comes up to here in the bottom bucket, it'll run out. So it's a little, a little bit of a control from horizontal up if you need more or less water. So that's a way to use these buckets for wicking.